and welcome to my tutorial. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can download and install the process macro plugin into your SPSS. So if you're new to SPSS, the process macro is an interesting plugin that can help you to run series of analyses like the moderation, mediation, moderated mediation models. Um, it's quite interesting to have the plugin for SPSS and SAS as well as for R. But in this video, I'm interested in showing you how you can install the process macro in your SPSS. So if you go online to www.processmacro.org, then you, you will see the download. So I've already clicked on the download. And once you click on the download, so it takes you to this point. And if you click on this, backup download link so when you click here um, that will also take you directly to downloading so in this case i've clicked on it and i have downloaded that into the zip okay and that is this so when you open it if you try to unzip it so you will see the process for uh for spss so that is the one i'm interested in you can also download any of these uh, process version 4, documents, or online demand process courses, and so on. So here, I, I want to um, extract the process macro. I'm going to extract the process version 4.3 for SPSS only. So I will extract to my YouTube. I will click OK. And I will go to my YouTube to check. Uh, okay, so that is process here. Uh, if you open it, then you are going to see the main process plugin here with a couple of other uh, details you may want to read. I'm going to head to my SPSS. Then, if you open the SPSS like I have done now, then you go to extension, then you go to utilities. You drag your mouse to install custom dialog so I will go to my YouTube so you see my process version 4.3 for SPSS I will double click double click so you see the process I will click OK and then it will tell me you can see the warning that uh, SPSS has given to me so indicating that I already have the process macro installed in my SPSS so if I click OK it will override the previous version so I will click OK and the SPSS notified that it has installed the process macro version 4.2 by Andrew Hayes so if I go to analyze regression you will see that I have the process macro installed and then of course for me to open it I must have a data set for me to be able to open that okay so let's assume that I open a data uh, from my recent document um, okay then I'll go to analyze regression process macro I can decide to put engagement here and put performance as the independent variable and then you go on to um, run your analysis okay but that is not what today's lecture is today's lecture is to tell you how you are going to install the process macro plugin into your SPSS and then go on to run series of models. So you have model one, two, three, four, up to model 92, okay? So with time, I'll be able to take you through various models, process macro models that uh, you may want to learn. So thank you for watching.